It's counting down to Christmas, and you know, yesterday was a cookie exchange day, so a lot of people uh, went out and they swapped cookies. Actually, people have been doing that all week long, Monday, Tuesday, and today they're going to continue to do like things like this because that's what people do this time of year. And why don't we give our own little spin on what is happening with cookie day, an uh, exchange day that is happening. There's a real basic cookie dough recipe that Michelle has. It is really cool. So, Michelle, uh, what, what do you have here? Tell us about the, the real basic recipe you have that everybody can make, right? All these tech issues, so it's nice that we're, uh, I think we're all ready for holiday break, right? Exactly. Uh, and we're going to enjoy our cookies. <laughs> okay, so the idea was um, for us to take one basic dough recipe and turn that into all kinds of different cookies because we can kind of have our own little exchange, uh, you know, if you're at home and you don't want to make, a, you know, six different batches of different recipes, well, you can take one basic recipe and we're using, uh, this is really easy for everybody, uh, your chocolate chip uh, recipe for the traditional chocolate chip cookies, only I make a, uh, a, an alteration to it. Uh, instead of using the full amount of flour, I take out uh, half a cup to almost three-fourths of a cup of flour. So I'm using anywhere from one and a half cups of flour to one and a quarter. And the reason I do that is um, I get a nice, I get a, a chewier cookie. Uh, it's a little flatter and it's kind of, it's more buttery. So we okay. like to do that when we make just the traditional uh, chocolate chip cookies. But we also take that basic dough recipe then, and you can flavor it in all kinds of different ways. So basically with this one recipe, I have made all kinds of different cookies. Um, you can take the dough, uh, and this is fun for the kids because they can kind of create their own little concoctions. Uh, we take a little bit of dough out at a time, and then you can mix it with all kinds of different uh, ingredients. So any, you know, all of your uh, chocolate chips, different nut combinations, your dried fruits, some oatmeal. Um, and we also, in front of me here, I have everything from uh, white chocolate, macadamia nut cookies to we've also uh, mixed in some peanut butter. So you'll take your dough and just mix in a tablespoon or two of the peanut butter. Uh, and we added some chocolate chips uh, into that. We also have some that are oatmeal raisin. Uh, I took a batch of the dough and then we mixed in some uh, cocoa powder sure. uh, and we have these beautiful uh, chocolate cookies and then you can also uh, we got out all of our sprinkles you can get out your food coloring uh, we frosted and made some nice little uh, cookie sandwiches so there's so much possibility with just one batch of dough um, and just taking small portions of it mixing in your different ingredients and then putting it out on your pan it all bakes the same and i think uh, we were happy with all of the flavors the one that wasn't probably my favorite is um, I took a little bit of orange zest and the cranberries and I don't know it, I, whether it's, you know. But you can experiment. The, the idea is you can experiment with these. Now, Michelle, real quickly, when you're measuring the flour, do you pack the flour in the measuring cup or do you like sprinkle the, the, the flour into the measuring cup to get the right amount? Yeah, I just kind of gently scoop it out, okay. level off the top, and then I'll put it in. All right. And uh, if you can kind of experiment, but if you like a chewier, thinner, uh, a little bit more buttery flavor, because otherwise they can kind of get dense and dried out. Um, and then if you're wanting to add some of those other ingredients, sure. it gives you a little flexibility with the peanut butter and so stuff. So all but from one way, basic we recipe. Had, we had our own little cookie exchange plate, all from one recipe, and just done, you know, here with just a few of us. That is a great idea. So create one batch and create all these different kind of cookies. And people will think you've been in the kitchen for hours. That is perfect. <laughs> Michelle. That's right. That's right. But not so much. You have an incredible and very, very Merry Christmas, young lady. And we will see you again here real soon. You guys, too. We've got some fun stuff coming up after the holidays. So I'm looking forward to putting all of that together. Everybody, be healthy. Enjoy your family. What's in right in front of you. And uh, I wish all of you happiest, happiest of holidays. Wonderful. Stay safe. We'll see you next year. Bye-bye. And be creative. <laughs> exactly.